take a moment to appreciate this incredible piece of architecture a beautiful silk structure built by spiders this just show with a little patience and perseverance we all can do incredible things Hey guys, welcome back to Painful DIY. I'm Geta Pain and you're watching Building a Jamaican Home Series. Yep, there is the column I'm going to install now. I normally say I want a tapered column, but couldn't afford the tapered one. So I'm just buy the mold and get it. Then I rent the mold for four grand a day. I couldn't bother pay eight grand, so I just buy the pipe. Reel every pipe and just I got install it. All right, stay tuned and trust the process. So we are preparing for a casting place decorative column. So what we're going to do first is to transfer the measurements of the pedestals minus the thickness of the mold and make our framework from that to support the molds. Now we are going to find the center of the pedestal and line up the first half of the mold to the line of the pedestal.
after getting a plumb line on the framework we're going to drill a few holes in the molds to pin it against the framework not to pin the mold too tight to the framework just allow for a little play and adjustment safe stuff that he has lying around he's got no light and he's had nails ladies and gentlemen Hold, you want to say that's a little louder? Just some screw them though and see if they dip on the ground. Uh, it's not like them stick up in our bowl up in our ear. Like some people. Hmm. He's throwing shade, I guess. <laughs> He likes my company, y'all. Sometimes, y'all. <laughs> and she writes it. So I have to turn it up. After reinforcing the framework, you're going to stabilize it by using steel to drive in the ground and pin it on the formwork, as well as tying the molds with binding wire at strategic points. Yeah, when we go out of the column, man, I ask him how much for a nice small column. Then he tell me eight grand. The column size of me did want. He said seventeen grand for that. Seventeen grand. And then he have a next little short one, but it's not eight foot for fifteen grand. I'm saying no, 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 no. You know what me do? Do I get a piece of pipe? Wire it up. I'm here with cast it in. Can't afford to pay. No more to pay for this. We pay eight grand for this pipe, and then we have one more to put over here. So, so when we take down that one, we gonna put it over here. So, I'm gonna just build it for eight grand and not seventeen grand. So, we gonna put up the man link if we can afford one. And we can just call him up and buy a column. We make them right hand spot. We have a whole lot of design.
cutting a few pieces of one between at 11 inches to frame the bottom of the mold. This will prevent any excess leaking of material. Big up to me, MSM truck driver. After everybody said them lock off with delivery for the day, she just tell me said, don't worry. Just take my number and she just take the truck and come deliver it herself. Be good yourself. So, of course, you know, I'm going to stick to the ratio of one bag of cement, two barrels of sand, and two barrels of gravel. But right here now, I'm working with three barrels of sand, three barrels of gravel, and one and a half bag of cement, which will amount to 4,500 psi. There is something about recycling rainwater, it always gives you the best type of mixes. Wetting and packing pieces of cement bag in any area that material will be able to escape from.
So at this point, I've underestimated the compressive force and it started to push the mole apart. I had to get some extra binding wire to hold it together. Watch it. Ali. Yeah? But that's not nice though. Them people are just demotivated. Why is it that it's leaking? Column are open up. Why is it the compression, up? every time it's work, it vibrates it and the column open up. So I'm going to tie two more strings from it to hold it in. Let's hope that hold it in. Just have about two more buckets to pour and we'll go and clear. Nice. Woo! <laughs> it's harder than I thought. <laughs> and then, throw too much material on the board. Wait. I'm going to go find some of them. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to mix up cement and I'm going to turn it over 19 times. <laughs> to coat the gravel. Yeah, I'm going to be in here. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for your support over the years and if you're enjoying these videos please remember to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Dun 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 dun! That is just beautiful! Look at that beauty. Just beautiful. And so then we're slap it up. Cement and it. Smooth and nice.
thank you guys for watching if this video is as interesting for you as it was for me please remember to like share comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video